my gosh, there is a dead fly in this cabinet. No, I'm gonna try to make it work. Well, they're not working for me, so they are leaving. It might be a surprise. I am kind of a messy person. Like when I have a lot of stuff to manage and I'm not managing it well, I will leave things out. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison. If you're new here, and today I am sharing a bathroom declutter and organization. Now, over the past couple years here on YouTube, I have really shared simplifying all of our living spaces. Like I've gone through bathrooms, closets, kitchen, garages, most spaces in our house. I've like gone and made a pass through and decluttered so much stuff. I found that living a more simplified or minimal lifestyle, just having less stuff in your home to manage, makes cleaning your home easier, makes me less stressed, and makes me not feel overwhelmed by my stuff. So today I am going back into a space that I have already decluttered. We've been in this house for a year, but previously we were in an apartment and I think I have two different bathroom declutters in there. And I've already done one bathroom declutter organization video in this bathroom, which is where we're going back to today. But I've learned that I get better at decluttering and like flexing my decluttering muscles the more that I do it. So I feel good and ready to go back into the bathroom, make another pass, make some harder decisions maybe, and just rethink a couple of systems that I put in place last time. Um, spoiler alert, most of the systems and little organization bins work awesome in there, but I do want to go like just make another pass at it. Like there's always ways to improve these spaces and I find that getting rid of things and simplifying my space, especially crowded cluttered spaces like a bathroom, can make your home feel a lot more functional and organized and just less cluttered, less overwhelming, and it's just simpler to get ready in the morning when you have everything that you use every day easily accessible and not covered up by a bunch of stuff that you never use. So today we're going into the master bathroom and I have three major points that I wanna to hit today. I even wrote them out because I am so serious about getting these things done. My first point is I wanna do a quick declutter. So we have a lot of supplies in our bathroom. We actually have tons of storage in our bathroom. And I wanna do like a quick pass over, just pull out like the easy things that I don't have to think about very much, just things that I know that we're not gonna reach for and use. Goal two is I have a little caddy for all of my everyday makeup. I have a little bit of extra like fancy makeup in a different location, but I wanna completely clear out, reorganize, rework the makeup section. And then my third goal is to free up one of my organizers. So welcome to our bathroom. Obviously we have a nice double vanity. The toilet and shower are in this little room, but we don't really store much in there. And underneath here, is where we are gonna be working today. So when I say free up one of the organizers, we are having a baby pretty soon and I would like to have one of these organizers pulled aside, ready to organize baby girl's bath stuff in her bathroom. Not that like she needs to have a separate bathroom, but we just have an extra bathroom in this house upstairs. So I wanna at least empty out one of these entirely because we have four of them total and I don't think we need all four of them. I wanna have one tucked away in her bathroom to organize her bath supplies and like baby medicine over there whenever that comes into the house. I think I'm gonna just go for the easy win, which is gonna be just to take out a bunch of the clutter and anything that's like an easy declutter, get rid of item. Cause there are a couple things that I know I can pass on and let go of. So we're gonna do a quick pass of all of these drawers first and just see where that takes us. Sometimes just starting is the hardest part, but it also doesn't have to be very complicated. I'm not gonna make this very complicated where I have to pull everything out, which I have done in the past, but I am gonna just like work in each section, work my way through it, pull out easy to declutter items and just trash. jinxing it if I say this, but um, how many of you guys remember Chi hair straighteners? I remember I got the ch my first Chi hair straightener, or my only Chi hair straightener, as a Christmas present when I was in the eighth grade, and uh, bad boy is still going strong. Have not bought a hair straightener since. I hope I'm not jinxing it, but it's been going strong for like over 10 years now, and I don't have plans. I'm getting rid of it. Daddy. 
I think I did just empty up one container completely. Like, yes, there's stuff all over the bathroom floor around me, but I think it's all gonna fit somewhere else. And oh my gosh, there's a dead fly in this cabinet. Why? So first, let's we'll start with everything we're getting rid of. I have a little bag of trash and packaging and this very old, lush, I think it's moldy now, bath bomb that sadly never got used because it just sat in the back of a cabinet. And then over here, I have a small pile of donations. These hot tools are very hard for me to part with. This was a really lovely Christmas gift from my mother-in-law and it's a hair curler, like the barrel itself rotates. So it's very cool and very like, innovative but I just couldn't get it to work for me and I was hoping I'd get it to work for me but I've had it for like two years now and it just doesn't work so it's time to pass this on to somebody else who can use this same thing with this blow dry brush it's the Amica brand another Christmas present and I tried to make it work and it just doesn't work with my hair type so I'm gonna let go of uh, being upset about a guilty declutter because both of these were gifts and like very nice generous gifts, but they're gonna bless somebody else and just not be taking up space and making me feel bad every time I went to reach for a curling iron and didn't pick up this one or I would just reach my normal blow dryer and not this one because they just didn't work for me, which is totally okay. They probably will work for somebody else. I also have a couple little knickknacks, little makeup things, some of them nicer than others, a bunch of hair scarves. I never ever wear hair accessories. And it's harder for me to get rid of some of these like nicer products, like a full bottle of MAC Fix Plus. Like this is not a cheap makeup product, but I never really wear a full face of foundation and I have a mini version of this. So I'm gonna just stick with the mini, let this go to somebody who can actually use it. It's not very much empty cluttering, but it's like harder things that I've held on to and told myself like, no, I'm gonna try to make it work. Well. They're not working for me, so they are leaving. I also have a couple of travel makeup bags in there. I keep all of our travel gear, besides our suitcases, in this bench at the foot of our bed, so those just need to make their way in there. We also have a very sleepy puppy. He's always close by. Even if you guys don't see him in a video, don't worry, Bucky's probably not very far away. Now in the cabinet, I did take out one of the two tier drawers for um, baby girl's bathroom, which is gonna be perfect. And I actually had these stored away. I keep a bin in our storage closet of like leftover organization bins, because like I said, my systems and my storage units are always changing and evolving. And so I hold on to pieces like this that have many uses. Like I think these were in our apartment bathroom. And then when I redid the organization here, it didn't work and now they work again. So this first bin is um, hair products that I reach for. I only have four and then I have some bath salts and then I have in the very back um, what's it called sunscreen and this bin is a rework of an organization system it's all of my nail supplies I never go to the nail salon I just don't enjoy it so I always do my own nails so I have a pretty extensive collection for like full manicure pedicure deal and I used to have them just in those little plastic clear acrylic things but it was hard to just like grab that and then run out to like the bedroom or downstairs to the living room where I would like do my actual nails so I moved it all into one basket so it'll be an easy like one trip all I have to do when I want to do my nails grab this and we're good to go I also consolidated kind of messily I don't know if this will work now I might need to find a new home for my hairbrush but I have a single curling wand my blow dryer and my flat iron and then a comb in the back so everything that I use for hot tools in my hair fit on this over the door rack. In here, nothing's really changed, just kind of like fancier makeup, some skincare products, eyelashes, and then also skincare that I can't use while I'm pregnant, but plan on using once I'm no longer pregnant. My makeup also sits up here, but I'm gonna do that a little bit later and sort through all of that. So I have that pulled out up here, but that's gonna be towards the end of the video. I wanna keep moving and grooving because this cabinet I think is a little bit scarier than the one we were just in.
lot more stuff hidden under there. Christian is a sucker for some travel size products that we never use. So those are gonna go. And then also these bath salts. I have like 15 different kinds of bath salts. So I'm gonna pass those on to somebody else. Same with these beauty products. I just don't feel inclined to reach for them. So all of those are gonna be donated or trashed. And then also I found Christian's toiletry bag, which needs to go on the bench also. Now I'm going to go through the makeup, which I am not looking forward to. Here is the pile of makeup that I pulled out of this little caddy, just cluttering it up. With a space as small as this for all of my everyday makeup, I definitely have to keep it simplified and under control or else it just gets chaotic and I can't find what I need to find easily. So a little overview, all of the makeup brushes are in this middle compartment. I have my like stick products, so like eyeliner pencils or eyebrow pencils, mascaras, concealer, eyebrow gel sticks up in here. Back here I have all of my lip products. This little cubby has my powder, and then some little basic eyeshadow doodads. This has my bronzer blush highlighter, and then you can lift these out. In this bottom compartment are like backup products basically. So I have a backup blush, a backup highlighter, a backup bronzer, just products that I like don't think that it will go bad and that I will use once I like finish using up the other products. So this is a lot tidier and neater. That's gonna all be leaving. And then I have a small pile over here of things that just belong somewhere else. Here's a quick look around now that things are cleaned up. One thing that I still would like to change in here is moving this jewelry stand out of the bathroom. I don't have a better spot to put it right now, but I would love to have more empty counter space. I'm fine with toothbrushes and our hand soap, but I would love to see that move to our closet. I think I might add a small dresser to our closet and then put that on top of it. We'll see how that works out. Also, I didn't mention um, our medicine cabinets. We each have one and they're both relatively functional. Like there's nothing in here that I could declutter because I use all of it. So that wasn't the focus of today, but we have clean countertops and the best part is down here. I already gave you a pretty thorough tour of this, but the top shelf of this is where I just place my makeup caddy and every day I just come in, grab it, place it up here, do my makeup up here, and then it's very easy to put right back where it came from. Same with my hair products, nails, and then we'll see how this works. It seems a little bit crowded in this little over the door hanger, but I think it probably will work. I don't reach for these tools every day, maybe twice a week max, so I think it should be fine. We'll see though. I didn't talk too much about this side, but up on this top shelf are like backup products for my husband, so his deodorants, shaving gels, that good stuff. The bottom shelf are backup products for me, so my deodorants, my hair products, and whatever. Over in this shelf, the top is all first aid, so medicine, bandages, aspirin, and the bottom is all feminine care products. And that is, that's it. Pretty empty, pretty clean. Right next to our sleepy puppy, we have our extra storage container that I'm gonna move over to baby girl's bathroom, which is just around the corner over there. <laughs> Excuse the mess out in the hallway. And then not a huge giant pile of stuff I'm getting rid of, but just enough to make it feel like a big difference. Everything in here, I'm gonna offer to friends and family and then donate what I can from that. And then this bag is just trash. So I'm happy to have these out of our bathroom and have this space 
a whole lot more functional and easier to get ready in. Sometimes getting ready in the morning is kind of a drag. Like I used to be really into makeup, but I just am like in the point of pregnancy where like I need to just slap my face on, brush my hair and be done with it. So having my bathroom super streamlined makes that very simple for everybody. And I also know that Christian likes it because it's not super messy because I am, <laughs> it might be a surprise, I am kind of a messy person. Like when I have a lot of stuff to manage and I'm not managing it well, I will leave things out like, did I make the bed today? No. The laundry right there still needs to be folded. I washed that maybe four or five days ago now. But I'm a messy person when I have a lot of stuff and I found that simplifying how much I have makes it so much easier to stay tidy. So Christian definitely reaps the benefits of me not making a huge mess of this um, bathroom because most of the things that were on top of the bathroom when we started this video were all mine. Just like being left out and like feeling like I had too much stuff that it didn't fit back where it belongs. So this brings me a lot of peace, a lot of joy. And I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I will link some other bathroom declutters for you to check out if you want more extreme motivation. I definitely have the decluttering videos where I'm getting rid of piles and piles and bags and bags of stuff. So if you're looking for that kind of motivation, trust me, I've got it on my channel. And stay tuned for Friday's video. I have a new room makeover coming out. I've been sharing sneak peeks on my Instagram account if you want to get ahead of the game, see a little bit into the future of videos I'm planning for you guys. But um, I'll see you guys Friday. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye!